The Blue Jackets, with some time off, have not had a chance to get deals done with both of their goaltenders, both two-year contract extensions, Corpus Allo getting $2.8 million a year, and then Elvis Merzlikins getting $4 million a year. Corpus Allo, a man that came in on his rookie year, played 31 games, looked really good doing so, finishing the season with a 920 save percentage, 2.6 goals against average, would then take over backup duties to Bob for the most part of the next three seasons, and he was unable to really get back into what I would say was that rookie form during those years was Corpus Allo. But then this year came around, he took over the starting job for these Columbus Blue Jackets after a rocky start to start the year. He started to really find his own again there in the month of December and he really started to show that potential and skills that we've seen back when he was a rookie. Unfortunately though we've seen an injury take him down and for that reason Corpy is still kind of in that not really proven range here from a goaltender standpoint to go out there and prove he can do this night in and night out like he did do there in the month of December for example and for that reason he hasn't really had the chance to say I'm worth this much money or worth that much money I mean from a pure contract perspective here for Jonas Corpusalo that is even with those flashes over the past five seasons Corpus still needs to prove himself to an extent for you know being worth a longer term more lucrative deal so at 2.8 million a year I think that's more than fair for both sides here and I'm a pretty big fan of seeing Corpusalo come in there on that price which brings us to Alvis Merzlikins though I've been a big Merzlikins fan couldn't wait to see what he could do once he came over from Latvia and after being winless in his first seven starts of his career, posting a sub 900 save percentage, we really seen him start to come into his own once Corby went down. And he was given the chance to not only prove himself, but to do so with consistent reps night in and night out. Torts pretty much went out there and said, hey, this is our man. This is our man. We're sticking with this man. Ride or die, whatever happens, this is his team now going forward. And Elvis Merzlikins shined very well with that moment given to him. From December 31st to February 7th, Elvis recorded five shutouts and won every single game that wasn't against the San Jose Sharks that he participated in and posted a 95.3 save percentage during that time. It was a remarkable stretch for Merzlikens. And as good as that defense was, you could still look back and see in multiple different instances where you can go back and say Merzlikens made big saves here. He bailed out this team here and he is the reason they were winning games and a big reason they were as hot as they was during that stretch of time. I think we all know the turning point in the season, though, and that was when Seth Jones came down with an injury and the team had a cold patch. The team had a cold patch, and Elvis was one of those guys as well. He proceeded to then post a 900 save percentage, though, to finish out roughly the final month and a half here that we had of hockey. And yeah, there were times where you can look back and say, yeah, the defense made some mistakes. There's a lot of blunders here and a lot of blunders there resulting in goals. But there was also, I believe, we can go back and say, here's a time, here's a time there's a time where Elvis just needed to make that save and he didn't come up with it and you know you see these patches and goalies it's expected he still did finish the season with a we'll call it a season technically it's not over yet here but a 923 save and a 2.35 goals against average absolutely remarkable numbers for a rookie goaltender so all that being said I do still think four million a year is steep I don't think you pay a goalie that has 33 games in his career played in the NHL, that kind of money, period. It's just too small of a sample size. Goalies go through streaks. We just brought up he was on an absolute tear. They go through hot streaks. They go through cold ones. The only true way you're going to really figure out a goalie's worth is getting him some reps consistently. And he's not quite at that point where you can say he's got the resume to say he's going to be this goalie or he's going to be that goalie. Overall, though, is it a big deal that, you know, the Blue Jackets paid him this much over the course of two years? Not really. You know, it's two years. It's a short contract. The only, you know, thing you see there is you might have a little bit more harder time of getting a bigger ticket free agent if the Blue Jackets wanted to go that direction. But I'm not sure if that was ever even on the docket list in the first place here. So personally, I think the Blue Jackets are in one of those cases where they have two goalies on their hands that are going to be starters in the NHL in the future and they're only going to be able to keep one of them or they're only going to want to keep one of them so that said here's two years for both of you right here's two years by the end of those two years hopefully the Blue Jackets hopefully we have an idea of which one of you two we want to move forward with the other one will likely walk out the door and find a starting job somewhere else the big question for the Blue Jackets is which one of the two it may be who knows I've been on the Elvis bandwagon since day one I want to say he comes out on top here but we've seen Seeing what Corby is capable of doing on multiple occasions as well. Bottom line is, it's a good problem to have. 
we'll just have to be patient. Maybe it takes a season. Maybe it takes two seasons to figure out which one of these goalies the Blue Jackets want to move forward with here. 